So a lot of you guys have wanted me to do this again, the Dave Campbell Texas Football Magazine Challenge, where I go through, I've got this year's edition of Texas football, um, and I go through the picks for the Texas teams in the Big 12. Uh, I give my thoughts on it, uh, what I think is going to happen, uh, compared to what the magazine says, and at the end of the year we'll go through and see uh, which, uh, who got them right, right the most. And, of course, last year Dave Campbell definitely beat me. Uh, you know, we're going to start with Texas A&M today. You know, last year I said Texas A&M go 4-6. and six. Uh, Dave Campbell said they go 6-6. Six and six. Well, lo and behold, they did go 6-6. Six and six. So he was right on the money with that one, uh, and I was way off. Uh, so this time we're going to start off with Texas A&M, and we'll go through. I think I'll maybe do Tech next, uh, then Baylor will end it with Texas. Uh, so going off, though, um, Campbell's got him going 8-4, and four, and we'll go down the list. And I really don't think he's given the Aggies uh, enough credit here. He has an improvement from last year, but I think they're going to be vastly improved. Uh, from what they were last year. Because you saw that against that in that Texas game. We'll, we'll get into that. But start off with Stephen F. Austin. That's a cakewalk game. They'll win that one. Louisiana Tech, that's another one they should win. Uh, both those at home. And Florida Atlantic. I mean, Florida International, actually. Uh, all those games were in College Station. Those will, be, uh, those will be victories for the Aggies. Then you go up at Oklahoma State. They're going to Stillwater. Now, really, the thing is, though, I really don't think Oklahoma State is going to be that good. Now, A&M has... They have had a problem on the road before, but I think they're going to get over those demons this year, and especially against Oklahoma State. I don't think this team is going to be that great this year. I think they're going to be one of the worst teams in the Big 12, at least in the Big 12 South. Um, you may even see Baylor jump in. We'll see. So right there, that's four wins. Now, then they're going to come up against Arkansas. Now, last year, Arkansas embarrassed them in the Cowboy, in Cowboy Stadium. And this year, a lot of people have Arkansas being a better team, and I think they will be. I think Ryan Mallett's going to have another year under his belt, uh, and all those guys have, have gotten older. But I think this is where the Aggies are going to shine here. And I think, uh, led by Gerard Johnson, who will be a Heisman candidate this year, and behind that wrecking crew of a defense, I think they're going to blast Arkansas. I think you're going to see this is going to be the coming out party for the Aggies this year. And I think they're going to go into Cowboy Stadium and whip the dog out of Arkansas. Um, and uh, that'll kind of put them back on the map for people. And that's actually, Dave Campbell has them losing that game, but I think the Aggies are going to take that one. Then you're going to have, at home against Missouri, it's a North team. The Aggies, it's in College Station. The Aggies will take care of business in that one. Going to Kansas, the, Can the Jayhawks, they've lost racing. They weren't even that good with the racing this past year. That's a win for them. Then we've got a game in College Station against Texas Tech on October 30th. This is probably a game that may decide the Big 12 South next year because um, I think Texas Tech has a really good chance of competing for it. But because this game is in Kyle Field, and, you know, Texas Tech may be coming in for looking revenge, but I, I think that was just what happened with the Aggies whipping Texas Tech in Lubbock this year. I think this is going to be more of a, more of the same, maybe even worse this time. Uh, you know, you got that crowd, you got the 12th man going. Um, you got Gerard Johnson, Heisman quarterback, or Heisman candidate. We'll see what happens. Um, and then, of course, that, you got that defense. Um, I really think, you know, Christine Michael in the backfield. You know, I, don't, I think Texas Tech may try, and I think they'll be a really good team. But with what the Aggies are bringing this year, you know, I, I think they win that game. Then you've got another game at home against Oklahoma the next week. Oklahoma, I don't buy Landry Jones. You know, Oklahoma, you know, they barely got a bowl game last year. Um, you know, they'll be improved, but they, they won't be on the Aggies level. Um, and it's in Kyle Field. That's a win. Then you're going to Baylor. Please. Uh, Aggies will take care of business in Baylor. I don't care if they have Rob Griffin or not. Uh, Aggies will get revenge from losing in Waco two years ago and pound them. Then they have it home against Nebraska. Once again, you get a team that has a good defense in Nebraska, and they'll win the North because the North isn't that good the year, this year. Uh, but you got a team like Nebraska, you know, poses a defensive threat, but, you know, I think the Aggie offense, you're going to have probably the best quarterback in the game uh, for, uh, for the Aggies. Um, you know, Nebraska's going to give them a hard time, but Nebraska will be able to score. They've got a bad offense against one of the best defenses coming in in, in Texas A&M. Um, you know, I, I think Nebraska, Nebraska will give them a scare. They'll give them a, they'll give them a scare in Kyle Field, uh, but Texas, uh, Texas A&M will take care of business. Then here have the season finale against the Longhorns in Austin, my Longhorns. And, man, guys, now look, look. I know a lot of you Longhorns are going to get mad at me for this. And no matter what, you know, I'm going to rep the horns. But, you know... You know, you saw, you know, we don't have Cole McCoy. We don't have Jordan Shipley. Um, offensive line has a lot of questions on it. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that Texas is going to win this game by default because it's in Austin. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Um, you know, it is, it's hard to win in Austin. It's, it's a hard deal. 
But these Aggies beat Texas a few years ago in Austin, a Colt McCoy-led Texas Longhorns team. Okay, Colt McCoy was the quarterback of that team. They still got beat. So now you got Garrett Gilbert coming in. Like, you know, look, I, I'm I'm hopeful that Garrett Gilbert will be good. But, you know, I mean, if you look at the Alabama game, he, you know, if it wasn't for Jordan Shipley, like it really was, it was, it was really it was Jordan Shipley's coming comeback, not really Garrett Gilbert. And it's not really Garrett Gilbert's fault. Gil, Gilbert's fault. Uh, he's, a, he's a freshman. But all those picks he threw against the Alabama defense, if he's going to throw that many picks against Alabama, how many picks do you think he's going to throw against the wrecking crew? And that's my deal. I mean, so I think Texas A&M is going to go through this thing, and with that high-powered offense, with Gerard Johnson at the helm and that wrecking crew of a defense coming in, and Mike Sherman at the helm, I've got them running the table. Now, I mean, will they lose a few games? They might, but it's hard to look through. I don't know if any of you can really give me a straight face, tell me that Texas A&M can't win all these games. Now, they're going to go to the Big 12 title game, and I'm not going to pick that one. They'll play Nebraska. So we'll see. And I think Nebraska will give them a hard time. So will they win the whole conference? They're probably my pick, but I'm not going to go that far with it. But I do think they will go uh, go uh, undefeated in the regular season, and they'll be up there competing for that national title. Um, they probably should get in. We'll see how many undefeated teams are at the end of the year, but uh, they will find themselves a mix of that. So uh, definitely a BCS Bowl for the Aggies. Um, uh, Dave Campbell having to go to the Alamo Bowl. I've got him at least going to the Fiesta Bowl, and we'll see what they can do after that. So Texas A&M, you guys got a pretty good team coming in, and uh, you know I'm Texas. We're 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 probably going to be out of rebuilding this year. This year, I'm kind of preparing myself for that. Um, and so Aggies, y'all will probably get the best of Texas this year, not just on the field one time, but finally overall in the season. So so far, congrats A&M. What you guys think?